Richard said. No, the, yeah, so that disappeared from my phone. Uh, Richard Seguin from uh, Musée National d'Histoire Naturelle uh, in Paris. Uh, we'll close this off. This session off is a talk about application of fuzzy measures to move towards cyber taxonomy. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Um, it's a pleasure for me to, um, to, to share with you this young um, subject that I'm working on with um, collaboration with some colleagues, uh, the professor Julia, uh, Julia Mosiconacci, um, uh, Francis Clement, who is the, the director of uh, information system in the National Museum of Paris, and Aurelien Mirales, who is taxonomist in, in the museum also. Um, yeah, it's a little bit difficult to be the last uh, just before the, <laughs> the coffee time, so I, I will be quick. Yeah, uh, as you can see, I take already take my jacket, so <laughs> <laughs> it will be uh, very quick. But I, I will remind like uh, this was all, all, all the week to discuss with, with you to go deeply in, the, in this sub subject. And yeah, and that's it. Um, just one slide for the context, just one for the methods, two for the um, for a use case uh, to present you what um, an example, what I'm talking about. And at the end, if you have any questions, um, it will be a pleasure for Anne-Sophie to answer them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Anne. Um, why can Okay, um, the study of um, millions of specimens housed all around the world in, in, in um, natural history collection uh, provides like accurate uh, inventory of species. But uh, for the last decades, like uh, the two last decades, um, Biological uh, taxonomy has generated a large, a very large uh, amount of data. And some people talk about uh, the fact that today taxonomy is a big data science and it's true because we have a lot, a lot of data in taxonomy. And the fact that uh, a taxonomist use all the data around a specimen to, to work, to, to do research, is what we, we call uh, here cyber taxonomy, or some people prefer like integrative taxonomy, etc. So um, the problem um, with that is um, Today, to do integrative taxonomy or cyber taxonomy, the, the researcher need to, to go uh, searching for all data because the data, the, those data around the specimen are produced by different institutions or are stored uh, in different databases, etc. It's a little bit difficult to access to, to those data because uh, there, it exists uh, um, a few, few direct links sometimes between the uh, specimen and those data around it. And another problem is uh, generally uh, the data on the specimen uh, in the museums are like poor quality because you, you, will, you will find like um, some um, missing data uh, about the specimen. You will find um, some uh, typological um, error, etc. So that's the main problem today to do um, eff effectively like uh, taxonomy, uh, integrative taxonomy or for cyber taxonomy. And now we, it, it's an obligation to, to use fuzzy methods, like find good fuzzy methods to link effectively uh, data uh, about specimens to all uh, the databases that can be linked to a specific specimen. And in this case, the main data about the specimen that we will use to, 
to try to link them to other databases will be the classification data because uh, generally when you know the uh, specific epithet, the, the, the species, the, um, the genus or the scientific name, you already have enough information to uh, find a link uh, in other databases for uh, this specimen. And to do that, um, you don't have a lot of choice. You, you need to be able to cross um, databases, like database, uh, your, your specimen databases with other uh, uh, databases to find uh, the to we did we with a team in uh the first double like um for distance metric for c c similarity metric uh Levenstein, um that's basic it, it works and we just readapted to 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 be able to um, compare data. And for NLP library, we, uh, I don't know uh, the data scientists know uh, very well. Um, Foodsy Woodsy, that is a great li library, NLP library that uh, already implement a lot of um, um, metric that uh, data um, similarity matrix, and allow people also to um, to cross big a um, lot of data so two big database bags and to to do this work we we use the data set of about 12 um, thousand um, specimen reptiles and amphibians um, and we crossed them with the uh, GBIF backbone and the the goal was to to see if we can uh, approach there's two databases and find the correspondent uh, data from JBIF for each specimen uh, of the museum. And as you can see with the figure um, A, um, we, with, uh, the, the, the green part is represent the exact match that we found for, for some specimens, so it's not a problem. The red part was the part uh, disparate, so for the specimen, we didn't find like a um, uh, match, okay? It's it sure that uh, we don't have uh, this data uh, in the other database. And the gray zone, it, was like the uncertain zone between um, 90 and 99 uh, percent of similarity. Two minutes already? Oh, okay. I'm not quick, finally. And when, when we uh, make a zoom on on the gray zone, like, like you can see it in the uh, figure B, um, with the, the, the taxonomies, we studied the, the thing and, and we, we, we saw like, by example, between uh, 98 and 99, it's generally the same thing. We, we just have some like a typographical uh, error, uh, et cetera. And uh, another uh, category where you have some larger error, but like uh, some difference in the, in the date, et cetera. But we are talking about the same thing in both. It, uh, but um, we still remain on orange zone that is like about 
2% of the data that uh, should necessary, uh, that should need a uh, human intervention to to say if this data are similar or are not uh, with uh, the database that we can that we compare and what is great with, with this work is we can use uh, the food z method to um, create links bet uh, between the um, databases but we can use it to to um, enrich our main database by example um, uh, in JB, if you, it's more complex than um, our, our databases, but, but we, we have some, some ranks, so okay, it's it, that we didn't have, but uh, this example with um, the orange example, you, you have Peraka was the, the, the uh, in JB with 2R and Peraka in. No, we found R uh, and Peraka in uh, in the museum with uh, two two R. Uh, that it's a typical error that we can find, but we know that it's the same thing. That that's all the meaning of um, this uh, this FUDZ method to to compare databases and to link them. So um, in conclusion, it's today to move to stable taxonomy or integrative taxonomy, we have no choice. We, we need to have good food Z method to, to make this comparison. And we can use this method both to do uh, quality uh, on our side, but also to, to link and, and, or interconnect the, the data sources. And um, it, we can also um, improve there's, um, this part. By example, you, you see that uh, we have 2% of data that need human intervention. So I think that on this part, we have a lot of AI method that we could use to, to, to add that this person to decide uh, after if the, the data are the same. So this part, I leave it. And if you have any question, as Sophie is ready. <laughs> okay. uh, thanks, uh, Richardson. Steve, dare I ask? No. Uh, 